right. And just like that, we're back again for day two of the storage unit. Um, I don't remember if it was sunny yesterday, but it rained overnight. Uh, fortunately, we bought a unit that's inside. So day two, got to load the van. The van's empty. I brought a hand truck also to get that cabinet out. If you guys haven't checked out the first video uh, of the storage unit, uh, it was a blast. And uh, today should be all the boxes. Um, and I'll try to show you the high points of whatever is in this. So, you know, if there's just houseware, stuff like that, I might pass over it until a future date. But if there's any sort of treasure or unique stuff, we'll definitely look through it. So storage unit, bought at auction, 100 bucks, day two. Let's do it. All right, so back for day two. I don't know if this camera has like this weird, like, uh, I don't know, cause this light right here, it's doing like a weird kind of thing. But uh, day two, uh, this is kind of just open the gate. This is what we kind of had to bring for this load. And hopefully it should be the last one, should all fit in the van. I sure hope so. Um, but yeah, I got a hand truck so I can take this cabinet. But all that furniture that's on the right is now gone. So the big thing with doing these storage units, it's obviously moving this big stuff. I'm super excited about all these boxes because that's kind of why I bought the unit. And although it's been a good unit and we've probably easily broken even by now, those two van loads really knocked me out. I'm feeling a little sore this morning. Well, this is pretty neat. I assume this is probably maple. All right, so the first box, now would you believe that? Wow, this looks like the 80s, yeah, 1989. There's a whole collection of Easy Riders, doing a little bit of uh, research last night. Uh, saw that these 70s are probably the best selling ones, but looks like lots sell very, very well. This is the first box, and if these are all Easy Riders, we're gonna have a lot of Easy Riders. Oh goodness. But yeah, they do sell well. I mean, if you want to check them out on eBay, Easy Riders, like lots of 12, lots of 20. Go for a decent amount. Take a look at this cover. Catalog, 1990. Those guys are cool. Look at that mustache. All right. Interesting items. I mean, this is something I'm going to have to go, like I said, I'm going to have to go through more of this stuff at home. What the heck is this? This thing looks awesome. Oh, it's a, it's a cat. It's got a name on the back. That's interesting. Jewelry thing with no jewelry. T.Y. Meanie Me, that guy's jamming. I've seen a bunch of this wood stuff. It looks like more stuff is wrapped underneath. Not just, looks like, that's not, that's probably etched. Feels like etched. Even with gloves on, I can almost feel it. So all this stuff, most of this stuff, is probably going to just be flea market. Some more pressed glass. fragile and it doesn't sound great. Heavy glass dish. That doesn't sound great. It's all taped up. Hold on. Nah, no. No, it doesn't sound good. Let's see what's in this glorious box. We have a band-aid. This, well, that's upside down. That's not good. That's for your fish. We got some seashells. But then there's always like a little brass trick. That guy's kind of cool. I don't know what he came off of. It's like a brass horse. And there's some other small things. I think that's uh, maybe a sh that might be a shaver. Possibly. Oddities. In an odd box that was marked glass. So that's one of the things with storage units. Never buy a storage unit based on boxes and what they're written on because as you see there's like a lot more than just glass here. In fact, there's only like two pieces of glass. We also have what appears to be the top to a decanter. Another box, another adventure. Wow, that really has a 
smell to it. it. Smells like paint supplies, but not like bad paint supplies, more like, I'm not sure. It's just pieces of wood. A lot of wood in this unit. I think it's for candles. That's why it smells like paint stuff. It's always like, uh, I don't know if that's oil or acrylic. It doesn't smell like paint spray. It smells like acrylic and opaque water base rust. It's a shame these things are like solid because these probably have a decent resale value. Ceramic products. Huh. So it appears as this box is sealed, as well as probably a lot of these boxes. So, of course, we only do one thing on this channel, and that used the wrong items to cut open things. So we got ourselves a bunch of knives in the last video. And what better way to open up a box and use something that you find in a storage unit. And yes, I do have pocket knives, I do have a bunch, but this is with character. Oh, it's got weight. Oh. Can't be a storage unit without one of these. Whole box of cups and cups and more cups. Lots of mugs. I find tons of these mugs everywhere. State Farm, like a good neighbor. All right, kitchenware. All right, let's see what's in this box. So many interesting treasures. Oh, jeez. What the heck is that? Candle. Candle? Oh, I think you put the candle probably in there. A birdhouse. Birdhouse? Oh, it's kind of cool. It's kind of different. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's old. Wow. Jackson of London English type wax. But then it says for fine furniture and antiques. So how old can it be if it says for antiques? But that looks like a very, very old paper label. Like that's got like the right coloring and everything. But then you flip it over, it's got a looks kinda like a new bottle. I don't know. Could be. Oh wow. yourself a car is this uh no this is by uh maestro sounded like i was italian there they make a lot of these die cast cars i think i got a police car or something out of a an older unit i think it said like swat on it um, i ended up getting 40 dollars, but it was with the box so that's kind of cool this this one has some weight it looks like the outline of a truck or a car it is some sort of car. That's that's jammy. So I figured with all the boxes or the books on collectible cars, there probably would be some sort of collectibles of that nature in here. This is a uh, scale one of 24, 1941 Willie's Coupe. Made in 2005. Kind of neat. Light bulb. This thing has some weight. Feels almost like a clock. It's not. It's one of those snow globes. Just missed the season for these guys. Oh, it's got a little jingle to it. Snow globe. All right, so what we've known from these units are <laughs> they never say what they say they are. So we see mommy shirts and Sarah shirts. 
It's also in a Burger King chicken fries box. So it can be either chicken fries or shirts or probably nothing. But we'll see. Maybe they are Harley shirts. They might not be. I'm still waiting for that box of just like Harley tees. Can you do the honors? Yeah. All right. They have weight, right? Oh, yeah, put it down. <laughs> it might be one of those. That's oh. not shirts. More bedding. It's little kids. It's flowers, towels. Nope. No shirts. Nope, no shirts. All right, maybe the Harley shirts are in one of these boxes. <laughs> All right, so kind of loading up so far, I would say 80% of the boxes are plates and bowls and Easy Rider magazines. This one's all whole set of plates. Um, the last one we just put up there, it's more kitchenware related items. I don't really document everything because I'm like, do you guys really want to see more plates? But that's what these units are. I just, uh, you get to the point where you're like, wow, it's, uh, the rest of the stuff cannot be it. Like, no human ever can ever own this amount of kitchenware. But there's still all these boxes to go through. I swear. Oh, let's see if I can look at this. Lots and lots of just like, Flea market inventory in here. This Crayola box is kind of neat. That's vintage. It's kind of neat. Looks like we have some blue and white wear over here. Liberty Blue. Made in England. Should probably wrap that back in, but we'll leave it like that. And Sound Center. Good old Sound Center. That has another tag on it too. Seven dollars. Dude, it. Want me to grab one? No, maybe I can. No, I got this. That sounds. Sounds collectible y. Or silverware. Oh, VHS. Oh, that's what those are. Yeah, you got a whole bunch of VHS. These things are collectible. More ceramic stuff, it yeah. looks like. VHSs. Hmm. All right. Oh, wow, the waves are back. Oh, nope, now they're gone. All right, so this box. I did see some other carnival pieces. Not in this one, obviously, because I just got this. But, oh, that goes to the bottom piece, obviously. That does not look like the same pattern. That might go together. Might not. Seems like there's a lot of this, like, collectible glassware. And the good thing is, like, if it's ever colored, like, this one looks new. But the colored stuff, like Depression and Carnival... You can still sell it. The clear stuff is a little bit harder. Like this stuff. I mean, that looks like... Well, it's marked with something. 402. So I don't know if that goes to... Something else. This one probably goes to this. Maybe not. Wow, that's very heavy. Alright, well... At least we're out of the, uh, the housewares. And now we're into the, probably the china cabinet. Right, another box here. Ooh, micro machines, but feels like it's empty. I feel like I had this as a kid. It's kind of cool. Older toy stuff, always cool to find. Empty. Federal glassware. Empty though. Now, if these were boxes for Pyrex, they would still be worth a lot of money. Just the box alone. Feels like these are all empty boxes. Federal glassware. Probably glassware is all wrapped in. This is fairly nice. This would sell. Looks almost like it's a shelf. That's what that is. Wood shelf painted with some uh, flowers on. That's actually very nice. It's kind of interesting. It's uh, it's a confusing locker in a way that you know we're saving empty boxes in here, and then we're putting glassware and other things. But things are wrapped, and then there's just like garbage thrown in some. So. Not too sure of the history behind it, but there's a lot of salvageable merchandise. This, I actually like this really nice. It, it's cool. Alright, so we got ourselves another box here. It looks like collectibles. Um, this 
got some cast iron pieces here, some small pieces. That's almost like a masher and a fork. Two and one. You got your little witch's kettle, cauldron, whatever you like to call this guy. This might be a longer burger. Hey, it is. Longer burger. Hand woven. 1998. Get yourselves a longer burger basket. Uh, there looks like I probably won't go through everything in this thing. Like I said, make sure to subscribe down below. I'll definitely be doing more like unboxings throughout the entire uh, winter and spring because I'm going to have to go through every single piece here. That way I don't bring a $200 item and sell for a dollar. Oh, got ourselves a bottle. It's a very large bottle actually. And it says, true me, drink true me, beverages, train bark. I haven't seen that bottle before. It must be like a soda bottle, I would say. Cool little bottle there. This looks like a nice piece of depression glass. It's actually a great size bowl. Perfect for fruit. I guess that might even be a fruit bowl with the uh, etched flowers on the side. Got some other oddities. This is something. Got some clear glass. That one's actually got some uh, female figure on it. So we'll put that aside. Everything and everything. We got ourselves some snail candles. Like I said, everything and everything. This thing feels heavy. Oh, would you look at that? Made in Hong Kong. It has a little anvil at the bottom, so this probably goes to a set of silver plate. The logo on it is an anvil. Very, very cool. So like I said, a whole box here. Uh, no way I'm going to go through this entire box here on camera, but make sure to subscribe and uh, we'll definitely be going through this more as I clean out the warehouse and organize for the upcoming season, but there is a lot here. All right, another box. More good quality merchandise here. Got some steins. I wonder if these will come back. These are Budweiser steins. This is also a Budweiser. Maybe. Let's flip it over. Nope. It's like a ceramic one. It's got some pens. More choppers on that. Oh. A safe. What's inside the safe? Nothing. Oh, paperwork. Empty uh, envelopes. Put that over there. Might be some stuff underneath this. Uh, maybe some stuff underneath this. Gotta love mystery boxes. Feels like a puzzle. Paperwork, whatever that is. It looks like, I don't know what that is. And paperwork and paperwork. These are all mirrors and frames. That's actually a decent frame right there. Let's see if I'm marked on it. Made in a great country called Taiwan. And uh, all right, that's this box. Hey, look, it looks like more cookware now. This one. There's the. Oh, wow, that was a top to the record player. Yep. And it shattered. That was really interesting why they would do that. And this looks like it's all closed. So, zip up hoodies. This looks more like female clothes. Hey, look, I need one of these. I needed two, now I got them. You know, that's not exactly what that's for, but. This is Jersey Shore, Jersey something. Jersey Shore. Probably from North Carolina. There's no Harley T's in here. 
For all that Harley stuff, I'm shocked there's not really more Harley ephemera or any Harley memorabilia. There were some uh, little die cast toys, as well as those carpets or rugs. But uh, in terms of like Harley tees, there's none of those. All right, down to two boxes, because the bottom one looks like it's glassware and it's all wrapped ball bowls and stuff. Should you believe that? More of these. But we have a whole thing of buttons, which uh, my secret trick with this is throw these into a mason jar, especially like clear mason jars, the ones that you really can't sell too much of. And people love them because they just look very, very artistic-y. Artistic-y. Artist, -y, art, artist, art. They look very nice. Um, so that's kind of the whole thing with these buns. These look kind of new. Some do look old. Like that one looks like an old one. There's a lot in there. So, and we got paint and chocolate chip something cookie dough. But yeah, we're down to like two boxes in this wonderful storage unit. Real life storage units. Caught on camera. <laughs> More cookware and a walk and there's bank. one oh yeah and a bank no, no, money. no money but it's a bank and no I did not just like <laughs> take the cookware from the other boxes and put it back into this box and just like refilm this no like this is literally more cookware it's insane amount of cookware you find in these storage units the one thing I would say that was not in this storage unit that I'm kind of shocked about is there was no food it's like every storage unit I buy, there's always food in it. I imagine these pots right here are probably not cheap. These look like those no stick, I don't know, they're called green something. Copper Chef. It's not called green something, but I think these are those no stick pans. I imagine this set right here is probably not cheap. So, uh, I won't go ahead and like scrap all this stuff. It's going to be resold most likely. And there's a lot. Oh, we got ourselves another Stein. So lots and lots of uh, inventory here. Um, wow, another storage unit in a book. Two days, three trips. Almost all packed up. Alrighty, so all cleaned out. I try to go over here and I'll see if the camera does it. No, it's not. Hope yesterday's video, or last video I should say, didn't have a lot of this uh, craziness with the uh, lighting going on. Um, but yeah, all packed up. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe down below. And the reason why I say that is because I just found this. And uh, definitely didn't see it. But there's probably definitely going to be a lot more treasure to be unboxed and all this other stuff. Uh, and I'll, like I said, I'll probably be doing more of it throughout the rest of the year. Uh, it's impossible to go through all those boxes in one video. Uh, so yeah. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up here for today's adventure. Lots and lots of fun. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this awesome treasure hunt. I have a ton of flea market inventory now. I do have to do some research and go through a couple of the items. Um, like I said, make sure to subscribe down below if you wanna see more treasure hunts just like this, if you wanna see more storage units. This one was a doozy. Uh, I think it was worth it, well worth it for $100. Um, now, there's a couple items in there that I can definitely get $50, $60 for. So uh, if you guys want to see more videos, definitely subscribe. Check out my whole storage unit playlist where I bought a bunch of other units in the past and cleaned them out. And uh, yeah, catch you guys next time. Next adventure, who knows what we'll get into. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.